During the year, the Russian nuclear industry developed in a wide range of areas, mastering advanced technologies and products in order to enter new markets with them, preventing those who are trying to politicize the global atom industry from gaining a competitive advantage. Russian nuclear engineers had to work hard under difficult conditions to achieve success in 2023, and the industry has a lot to be proud of as a result. Rosatom once again fully fulfilled the state defense order for the year. Ensuring the country's defense capability and the state's nuclear deterrence policy has been one of the main tasks of the domestic nuclear industry throughout its history. For many years Rosatom has been fully fulfilling the state defense order. Now this order for Rosatom has grown noticeably, but the nuclear workers are coping successfully. In February, during his address to the Federal Assembly, the head of state instructed the Defense Ministry and Rosatom to ensure readiness for a test of Russian nuclear weapons if the United States is the first to test them. On December 27, 2023, the head of the agency said that Rosatom had fully fulfilled the state defense order for 2023. Also this year, Rosatom ahead of schedule met its target of 214 billion kilowatt-hours of nuclear power generation in Russia. Construction of the first and second power units at Kursk NPP2 is now on schedule in the country. The preparatory period for the construction of the future third and fourth units of Leningrad NPP2 began. A separate topic is advanced power units. In particular, it is about the forthcoming construction of the world's first low-power nuclear power plant based on the RITM-200 reactor in the Ustyansky district of Yakutia. Rostechnadzor license for its placement has already been obtained. The technical design of the reactor was approved. In November, Rosatom and Nornikel signed an agreement providing for the construction of a small nuclear power plant for the Norilska industrial district. In Chukotka it is planned to build a low-capacity NPP based on the Shelf M reactor plant with a capacity of up to 10 megawatts. The agreement was signed in June at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. An important result was the complete conversion of Beloyarsk NPP Unit 4 with BN-800 fast neutron reactor completely to mixed oxide uranium plutonium MOX fuel, which is necessary to create a closed nuclear fuel cycle in the two-component nuclear power industry of the future. Rosatom creates advanced nuclear fuel for NPPs. Reactor testing of MOX fuel has begun to substantiate the possibility of its use in future PWR-type reactors, which form the basis of nuclear power in Russia and are widely represented in the world at Russian-designed NPPs. This is also a new step in mastering closed nuclear fuel cycle technology. In addition, the first cycle of reactor tests of experimental silicon carbide fuel element cladding, the use of which is believed to significantly improve the safety and efficiency of nuclear power plants, was successfully completed. Rosatom has not stopped any Arctic development project under current conditions. The volume of cargo traffic along the northern sea route this year reached a new record, exceeding 35 million tons. The state corporation is working out with Russian companies the possibility of shifting the sea transportation of domestic oil from the Baltic Sea to the northern sea route. It was also announced that Rosatom and Novatek will launch year-round navigation in the eastern part of the northern sea route in early 2024. Transit along this Arctic highway due to geopolitical events, which sagged badly in 2022, has not just recovered, but has reached a new record. More than 2 million tons of transit cargo were transported along the Northern Sea Route. A landmark decision in the development of the Northern Sea Route as an international transportation corridor was the signing by Rosatom and DP World of an agreement on strategic cooperation for the development of container transportation along the Northern Sea Route and Euro-Asian logistics. In October, Rosatom and DP World established a joint venture to develop container transportation along the Northern Sea Route, and in December signed an agreement providing for the creation of a global logistics operator. The domestic nuclear-powered icebreaker fleet will eventually be replenished with two more nuclear-powered ships. In early February, a contract was signed for the construction of the fifth and sixth serial universal nuclear-powered icebreakers of Project 222-20 at the Baltic Shipyard in St. Petersburg. Russia's cooperation with friendly partner countries in the field of peaceful atom is developing. The project to build the first NPP in Belarus was successfully completed. In May, power unit number two of the Belarusian NPP produced its first current, and in the fall it was put into commercial operation. This is Rosatom's first completed foreign project to build NPPs with advanced VVR-1200 reactors, which has now become the state corporation's main export product. By the end of the year, it became known that Moscow and Minsk intended to sign a memorandum on deepening strategic cooperation on peaceful atomic energy. At the end of April, a solemn ceremony was held to deliver nuclear fuel to Unit 1 of the AKUYUNPP in Turkey, which is being built with Russia's participation, after which the country joined the Club of Countries with its own nuclear power. In December, 
the Turkish Nuclear Regulatory Authority issued a license for the commissioning of Unit 1. It is due to be launched later this year. Now Moscow and Angara are discussing the possibility of building the second NPP sign-up in Turkey according to the Russian project. Nuclear fuel for Unit 1 was also delivered in early October to the Rupor NPP being built in Bangladesh with Russian assistance. The commissioning of Unit No. 1 at Rupora is expected to take place by the end of 2024. In Egypt, construction of the third unit of Eldaba NPP started in May 2023 together with Rosatom. And in Hungary, the main stage of construction of the PAKJ-2 NPP started in August. The first concrete at the PAKJ-2 NPP is scheduled to be poured in late 2024, early 2025. Rosatom also helps friendly countries to provide their health care with advanced technologies. Bolivia in March received the first shipment of advanced radiopharmaceuticals produced at its nuclear research and technology center being built by Rosatom. Russian technology has already helped save many lives. On the site of the center, a nuclear research reactor vessel was installed for the production of various isotopes. The range of applications in which this unit can be used is very wide. Environmental protection, industry, mining, and even forensics. Within Russia, a major platform for the country's cooperation in nuclear science and technology will be the Embir Multipurpose Fast Neutron Research Reactor under construction at the Rosatom Research Institute of Atomic Reactors in Dmitrovgrad, Ulanovska region. At the very beginning of this year, the hull of this unique plant was put in the design position. Rosatom's partnership with the BRICS countries was significantly developed in 2023. In March, a decade-long program of cooperation between Moscow and Beijing in the field of fast neutron reactors and closing the nuclear fuel cycle was signed as part of the Chinese leader's state visit to Russia. Also in March, it was reported that Russian nuclear manufacturers had won a tender to supply lithium hydroxide-7, an important component of the cooling system, for Brazil's only nuclear power plant, Angra. And in early May, Russia and Brazil signed another contract for the supply of natural uranium. In addition, it became known that Rosatom intends to cooperate with India on small-capacity NPPs, including a floating power unit. Russian specialists are also ready to build a powerful nuclear research reactor in India. In early August, it was announced that Rosatom's fuel company TVEL and the South African Atomic Energy Corporation signed a Memorandum of Understanding to cooperate in the manufacture of nuclear fuel and its components. It was noted that this would be a step towards increasing the sustainability of nuclear generation in BRICS countries. Nuclear medicine has become a separate major area of partnership with BRICS. Rosatom's readiness to supply the countries of this association with new high-tech radiopharmaceuticals for cancer treatment has been announced. In addition, Russian nuclear scientists propose to create large macro-regional centers of competence in nuclear medicine with their BRICS colleagues in order to provide high-tech services to third countries as well. Peaceful nuclear energy is one of the most important and promising areas of Russia's cooperation with African countries. At the Russia-Africa Forum held in St. Petersburg in July, Rosatom signed intergovernmental partnership agreements with such nuclear newcomer countries as Burundi and Zimbabwe, and signed a plan to develop cooperation with Ethiopia. In particular, we are talking about the possibility of building NPPs of different capacities in this country. African countries are very interested in Russian floating NPP projects, and Rosatom proposes to create a nuclear power fleet to supply the countries of this continent with electricity. The year 2023 also marked another record, this time for Rosatom's machine builders. They shipped five reactor vessels intended for foreign countries' NPPs with Russian participation. Such a volume of shipments has never been seen in the history of domestic nuclear engineering. In 2023, Rosatom completed the manufacture and shipment of a series of 10 RITM-200 reactor units for the newest nuclear icebreakers. According to some experts, this is how the Russian nuclear industry was transformed from a piece manufacturer into a reactor factory. The plants of the machine building division started smelting steel billets for the equipment of the RITM-200N reactor unit of the future small NPP in Yakutia. A landmark event in the development of the raw material base of the domestic nuclear power industry was Rosatom's ascension to second place in the world in terms of uranium reserves. This happened after the acquisition of the Budanovskoy deposit, this strategic metal, in Kazakhstan. In addition, it became known about the plans of the Russian state corporation to mine uranium in Tanzania and Namibia. The domestic nuclear industry, having a powerful production complex of mining and processing enterprises, helps provide Russia with strategically important rare and rare earth metals, without which the development of many industries, including defense, is impossible. In February this year, Polar Lithium, a joint venture between Rosatom and Nornickel, received a license to develop Russia's most promising, Kolmazursky lithium deposit, in the Murmansk region. In late June, 
Rosatom's international uranium mining holding Uranium One Group and Bolivia's state-owned lithium company signed a framework agreement to build an industrial complex for mining and production of lithium carbonate in Bolivia. For Rosatom, this is the first large-scale foreign project in lithium production. It is planned to build an industrial complex with a capacity of at least 25,000 tons of lithium carbonate per year, which will account for up to 4% of the global market. In December, an agreement was signed for the construction of a pilot plant for the production of lithium carbonate. In late May, the Cabinet of Ministers ordered Rosatom to transfer the strategically important Lavazersky mining and processing plant in Murmansk region, which mines rare earth metals, to Rosatom. This enterprise is the only one in Russia that mines and enriches laparite ore, from which rare earth metals are extracted for further use in Russian industry. Elgox laparite concentrate is supplied to the Solokamsk magnesium plant. There, tantalum, niobium, titanium are extracted from this raw material and a collective concentrate of other rare earth metals is produced. The full chain of rare earth metal production in Russia is not closed today, so shares in the Solokamsk magnesium plant are also being transferred to Rosatom. The next step here is the construction of a separation facility to ensure full raw material and, consequently, technological sovereignty. Thus, Rosatom will become the owner of the full cycle of rare earth metals from mining to production. During 2023, Russian nuclear scientists took several steps forward in the fight against malignant tumors. In January, Rosatom began building in Obnisk, Kaluga region, Europe's largest plant to produce world-class radiopharmaceuticals, including those for the treatment of severe cancer. The enterprise is expected to ensure Russia's technological sovereignty in this high-tech industry. The line of future drugs will include, among others, products based on the radioactive isotope ACTINI-225. The alpha particles it emits allow targeted killing of only tumor cells without damaging healthy tissue. Russian doctors are already increasingly using drugs based on actinium-225 synthesized by Rosatom specialists. In February, such a cancer drug was also used for the first time at the Medical Radiological Research Center in Obnisk. In November, the first patients underwent therapy with lutetium-177-based radio formulations. The drug to fight neuroendocrine tumors and prostate cancer was created with the participation of NIIARA specialists. In the same month, a new nuclear medicine building was opened at the Dmitry Rogachev National Medical Research Center for Children's Hematology, Oncology and Immunology in Moscow. It is equipped with a cyclotron for the production of radiopharmaceuticals for the diagnosis and treatment of blood diseases, malignancies, pathologies, immune system and other severe ailments. The fact that Rosatom is rightfully called the flagship of the country's technological independence was confirmed by the achievements in the field of quantum computers, which, among other things, are considered the tomorrow of critical information infrastructure protection. In July, at the Future Technologies Forum, Quantum World, Computing and Communications in Moscow presents Russia's most powerful 16-qubit ion quantum computer, created under the auspices of Rosatom. In September, the construction of cluster enterprises engaged in the production of electric cars and car components was launched in the Moscow village of Krasnaya Pakra. Rosatom is one of its key participants. In October, the main technological building of Rosatom's first gigafactory in Russia, where lithium-ion batteries will be made, was assembled in Neman, Kaliningrad region. The nuclear industry is a pilot industry for the implementation of the project to achieve technological sovereignty of critical information infrastructure facilities in Russia. An industry order for so-called trusted software and hardware complexes for about 100 organizations has already been collected. The first samples will be tested at pilot test sites at Rosatom companies and enterprises. In addition, in 2023, Rosatom migrated the industry's electronic document circulation system to a Russian platform.